because I wasn't exactly told like, you know, everything really, but like I got banned off TikTok. We have so much more to talk about. Keep it locked in. This is Rich Loves with the hottest news on YouTube. Really nice. Um, yeah, right now I am not able to get gifts. That is still not something that my account is able to do. Um, which the part that makes me the saddest about that is that I would love coming on here and battling my friends on here and just kind of really getting to connect with them like that. Um, and that is definitely something that I miss like so, so much. But like I said, guys, hopefully this won't go on for too much longer. And it is good to at least get to say hi to you guys and everything. I'm not going to make a new account, guys. I, I, Because the thing is, like, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. And also... The thing about that is, like I said, like I am definitely not trying to go against um, any kind of guidelines or, or anything like that. So I'm just kind of trying to. OK, all that to say this, let's get into this drama. OK, so first of all, Eugenia Cooney, before we even get into why she got really banned out of her words herself, she recently be, she posted this video where she's trying a lip plumper. And I thought it was so cute that she tried it. But I will say this, the best lip plumper I've ever tried, and I'll link it down below in the YouTube shop, is a lip injection maximum plump. A lot of people don't know that Too Faced Cosmetics has lip injections. And if you do know about it, did you know that there's four different variations? Light, super light, medium, ultra, like that. And this is like the mega, be the best one you can get is a lip injection maximum is what it looks like. It's like $30 or something like that. This is the best lip plumper I've ever used. It does sting the lips, does tingle, and you go, your lips get really big. Let me see if I can try some on. I'm going to try a little bit on because it really is, it's a lot. Hold on, watch. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's really potent. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the box because <laughs> that's how strong it is. But I'll link it down below in the YouTube shop. If you want like the best lip plumper, trust me, Adam tried them all. This is one of the best up there. So I'll link it down below in the YouTube shop. Okay, so let's talk about this. So Eugenia Cooney tried a lip plumper. I thought it was super cute that she did that. And then apparently she went on TikTok live and she was in what they call boxes with another creator by the name of Paul Dow. Hey, it's my babe up here. So while she was doing all that drama in the comments, right? And she was, you know, talking to people. Then she got out of those boxes and then she was just talking like with her community. Well, all that to say this, apparently like Jeffree Star had chimed in and was in and out. People were saying that Jeffree Star was being rude, but I just think Jeffree Star is just being Jeffree Star. Passive aggressive, funny, telling jokes or whatever. Especially if he was kind of like watering the plants, then you're gonna just get a lot of like, just what? You know what I'm saying? It just, it's kind of like that, right? So Eugenia Cooney goes on to say that, you know, she got banned off TikToks for mistakes or something like that that she's made. But here's the thing, right? Or anything negative here, so. Yeah. Um, oh, and Luca, thank you. I'm really glad you've been liking the new videos. Thank you. I've, it's been kind of like a, a crazy year this year, honestly. Um, so I've just kind of been feeling like, you know, it's been kind of a weird time, but, you know, I'm just kind of trying to make good content for you guys the best that I can. And, you know, just trying to do everything I can from my end. So, yeah. And with you guys, you know, I, I don't know how into everything I want to I want to like get right now. It's, it's a little bit confusing to me because I wasn't exactly told like, you know, everything really. But like, I, I think that she can still receive gifts. Um, she can make videos. She can do videos doing sponsorships. She just can't receive like when she's live, people send her gifts, if that makes sense. Right. So in, in essence, it's like, well, what's the point of going live if you, you know, what I'm saying if there, there's no incentive for monetary gain and she's basically just doing it for free but she can post tiktok videos and she can post videos on tiktok promoting something and people can she can earn commission she just can't go live and receive gifts she can go live she just can't receive gifts while she's live okay that makes sense hope that i kind of clear the waters there i just want to be perfectly clear so with that being said people were saying that eugenia cooney got banned because of the way she looks and her showing off her body and things like that and when I really looked at it, I don't understand, like I get it, but I don't understand the reason why you have several platforms like Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, um, and Instagram, but TikTok is the only platform that wants to not, not have her go live. And you know what I'm saying? It's like all these other platforms let her, but this one doesn't, it's, it doesn't make any sense. It, was, it would be different if like, 
It's a domino effect all across the board. But the only thing I can pinpoint is that it's her body that when he, whenever she shows her body, that's like the issue there. And so they want her to be more like covered up and just be like a floating talking head. If that just, if that, I guess that's what they want, but. Eugenia Cooney, a 29 year old, has stirred up a significant reaction among her followers recently. She recently shared a dance video that prompted numerous comments expressing concerns about her safety and well being. One person commented that they feel like they are witnessing her gradual decline and potential demise. Eugenia's appearance hasn't always been like this. In 2010, she started a YouTube vlog focused on makeup tutorials, which gained immense popularity and now boasts millions of followers across her social media accounts. Her followers have been increasingly worried about her over the past few years, and the situation appears to be worsening. A few days ago, she posted a video featuring a Barbie-themed outfit that garnered millions of views. However, a majority of the comments were people urging her to seek help. In 2016, a petition was launched by 18,000 individuals who sought to have her banned from YouTube. In 2019, she took a break from social media to seek treatment. However, when she returned a few months later, fans noticed that her condition had not significantly improved. In a video, she explained that she sought help because some of her friends expressed concerns about her well-being. Following that, she was placed under a 72-hour hold, known as a 5150. Subsequently, she received treatment in Connecticut, where she stayed for about four weeks. Eugenia, who is almost unrecognizable compared to her older pictures, lives with her mother. When asked how her mother can watch her deteriorate, she clarified that the woman isn't her biological mother, but someone who knows she's fine and takes good care of herself. She emphasized that they all have different bodies. Her fans and followers are hoping she will step away from social media and receive the crucial help she desperately needs. However, for now, Eugenia doesn't seem inclined to make any changes. How is your, your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She happens to be skinny mini, but she does take exactly. skinny Exactly. We're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. Thank you for the two of your bits, Picado. It's so great seeing both you and your mom here together and chatting so relaxed. I hope you'll do this every now and then. Thanks, Picado. I would love this. Anyways, let me go. Let me say this. Before I go any further, a big thank you to Adam and Eve. Thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring this video. You know I love you guys so much. They've been a big supporter here. And I want to say thank you to AdamandEve.com. You can use code LUX, L-U-X, at AdamandEve.com. And you get free shipping for United States and Canada. So exclusions do apply, but it's not all about adult toys. They have silk pajamas and pillowcases and so much more over on adamandeve.com. So definitely check them out and let me know, you know, what you get if you want to. Okay, let's get back with this drama. Here we go. So Eugenia Cooney, right? It's so sad because this was the platform that people really embraced her. This was the platform, TikTok, that people really really loved her and she really had a lot of backing behind her. She had like a lot of positivity there. Yes, there was negativity, but- I've actually never tried anything like this before. So I've been seeing this product kind of going around TikTok and it is the NYX Duck Bump. So I've actually never tried a lip pumper before ever. I really have like no idea how they work, um, how much they pump up your lips, how it's gonna look on me or anything really. But I thought today maybe it'd be fun to just kind of like try out and see what happens. I ended up buying this in two different colors just so I could kind of like, I guess had the full experience. Um, so I got one that's kind of more of a nude. This one is just called Banging Bear. And then this other one that kind of looks more pink that's called Bubblegum Bay. I honestly don't really know what is supposed to happen with these. Like, Hi guys! 
or color, plump up your lips more. Um, it says on the thing, I don't know how serious it is, it says extreme sensation. So I guess they're supposed to have a pretty big effect. I guess we will see what happens. Okay, so first I'm gonna try the kind of more like nude shade Bang and Bear here and just kind of like see what happens here. So, all right, let's see. So, okay, we got the, it's like the little ap applicator here. So it comes with a pretty big applicator. And I guess that I am just gonna apply this to my lip. I mean, it's a nice color. It's just kind of nice nude. Um, do my lips look more plump, guys? Like, is it working? I don't know. So I think this is just like normal and what's supposed to happen. I am feeling a little bit of the burning sensation, but it, it's not that extreme, you know, it's just kind of a little bit there. So our color, plump up. Um, I don't know if it's like super dramatic, but you know, I did, I think I see it. And then the other color that we have here was kind of more of like this bright pink called Bubblegum Bay. So I figured like, hey, let's try that maybe on the other half, see how this one works out. Let's put this on. Oh wow, yeah, so this one's definitely more of like a bright pink. Um, I went a few minutes to go by to see if I was kind of feeling the burn, the burning sensation on that side too. I do a little bit. I think I might have felt it a little bit more with the nude actually, which I'm a little surprised, but yeah. But I mean, I think they worked. I'm not used to lip plumpers, so I'm like, I don't really know what they're supposed to do, but I, I think my lips do look plumper than usual. I think the colors are nice. Um, So I don't know, let me know. What? She had like a lot of positivity there. Yes, there was negativity, but from what I've seen, this was one of the few platforms that people really, like she had like a following that people who really loved her on there. You know, that's what I got on it. So now that she can't go live anymore, you know, it really, it really sucks. It really does suck. And so hopefully she'll get it back and she can finally go live and receive money. But I don't know. I mean, she had such a strong fan base. I mean, she would go live and, ha and get thousands of views and a lot of people were commenting and things like that. So it's just really sad to see someone go through the internet space with such toxicity and then find something that there's some, a light there and then that gets taken away. And she's just, I guess, a watcher now of people's content and she'll go live with the green screen and just talk. And like, I don't know. It, it, and I, I do think that in the conversation, we got to see like a real Eugenia, if that makes sense. You know, I really do think that we got to see like a real her, but that's my opinion on that whole thing. So anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lux with the hottest news on YouTube. Mwah.